Joined now live from Washington by MSNBC political analyst Pat Buchanan. So with another good morning, Pat, we've got the president calling this new climate bill a jobs bill because he says it's going to create clean energy jobs. You have House Minority Leader John Boehner saying it's a tax bill. Why doesn't anyone want to call it a climate bill? Well, because the science is suggesting that maybe all of this isn't really happening or it's not really dangerous or it's not really man-made. Barack Obama, the president, was right when he said we shouldn't be afraid of the future. That is how this bill got passed, through fear. We're all going to change. The climate's going to change. The oceans are going to rise. Our cities are going to be underwater. But more and more science is coming forward to say this is a hoax and a scam which is designed to transfer wealth and power from the private sector to the government government sector and from the government of the United States to a world government, which is what we're going to get in Copenhagen when we get the Kyoto 2 agreement. Okay, here come the emails. Anyway, um, Pat, you know, when the bill passed, Republicans broke into a sort of sarcastic kind of applause because they think the vote's going to be unpopular with Americans. Are they right? Well, I mean, here's the thing. You shouldn't applaud because it could go through, but they're certainly right on this. It is a tax bill. It is going to raise the price of energy, electricity, lighting, everything you do in your home, heating. It's going to raise the price of that, the cost of that. It's going to hammer the middle class and the working class, especially for a, for a danger which we don't even know for sure is really there. Okay, but and this is what is so outrageous well, about it. Well, you know what, Pat? There are a lot of people are going to debate that, and they're, they're so people are going to debate that issue, whether or not global warming, what defines it, and, and if this will help us. But one thing we can say is that this is a big victory for the president, right? Do you see it that way? Well, I think it's a, it is a victory, but it may be a Pyrrhic victory for this reason. What they're getting through is not what the militants wanted, and they're going to go through the Senate, and they may lose there, or they may win. And when it comes to the election of 2010 and the economy's in trouble, I'm not sure saying we raise prices on energy and we raise prices on electricity that these are going to be real winners if the economy's in tough shape. Okay. All right, Pat, and let that be it for this Saturday. Thanks for joining us. I'll be at Brief. I know we had a lot of Michael Jackson coverage, but good to have you in there, too. Thanks, Pat. Well, thank you. All right.